Hey guys, it is that one guy for the one here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S um, on iOS 5.0.1 or below, or um, which would be 5.0 because that's what it came out with. Um, and uh, when we jailbreak, it will be the same method for an iPad 2 with 5.0.1 or below, which uh, um, will be 5.0 or it could be 4.0, whatever, whichever it came out with, I'm not sure. But here we have an iPhone 4S. Um, here's proof. With the newest iOS 5.0.1, uh, we're going to jailbreak this with the newly released um, program called um, Absinthe, which is right there. And so... What you're going to need to do is get your 30 pin connector cable that came with your iPhone 4S or just any 30 pin connector that will connect to your iDevice. And we're going to plug it in the USB port, obviously, and then connect it to your iPhone 4S. All we need to do is run the program, uh, Absinthe. And it'll detect it, and it say, it'll, it'll say the 4S or what, iPad 2 um, with iOS, whatever you have, has been detected. And you start it by jailbreaking, clicking the jailbreak button. And what it's going to do is it'll look like it's restoring from a backup, but it's actually putting all the jailbreak data and um, doing uh, the kernel exploit and stuff like that. And it might take you a bit, and see there goes the restore, it's not actually restoring, it's just a uh, flaw in the iOS, that's how they took advantage of this jailbreak. Um, so, we're just going to wait this through this, which should be real quick. Okay, now the iDevice is rebooting. Alright. So now it's waiting for the reboot, and the Apple logo just came on. Okay, so we got the spinning wheel uh, springboard. And the springboard should come up, and it'll say connecting to the device. And it'll say, waiting for the device to finish booting. And now our iDevice is on. It'll say, prepare, uh, preparing jailbreak data. And the iOS screen, um, that automatically turned off because we have it. You don't have to do this. But, I mean, it doesn't matter if the screen's on or off. But don't touch your iDevice yet, <clears throat> at least until it says um, what's upcoming. Alright, so now what you need to do is when it says almost done, just unlock the iPhone, the the screen if necessary but I've I had to do this so I don't know why they said if necessary but um the very last uh, icon on your home uh, springboard should be um absinthe and what you're going to do is you're going to tap that pro uh, icon And um, if this happens, where nothing ca comes up, which actually happened on my my iPhone because this is my brother's, we're just going to wait for the uh, spinning wheel at the top to stop spinning before I do anything. So. And we are connected to Wi-Fi, so it'll probably, 
it might give you an error message which says can I connect to um, database but if it's taking a while like it is for me which it is okay so the spinning wheel is gone and we don't have anything on here new so just press the home button and you'll see the icon still there but what you need to do now is go to settings and go to um, general don't make sure not to do this on the VPN right here and make sure your cable is still connected go to general and uh, network Zoom in there. And go down to VPN and you'll see jailbreak. What you want to do here is click it to on the VPN status and it will connect to the um, server and you should get an error message. Now I've had the uh, iPhone connected via the cable the whole time so I can't confirm if you could take it out whenever this comes up. But, um, so now we got the error, so all you go do is click the OK button, or it'll automatically do it, I guess, which it just did. What that means is, it'll now reboot, and, um, that icon, uh, the absinthe will be replaced by the, um, Cydia icon. And whenever you first boot Cydia, it'll install the file system, and you'll have your homebrew store right on your jailbroken iPhone 4S. Um, but right now what it's doing, it's going to reboot and it's booting to the loading screen, which there it goes right there. And it will zip through this pretty quickly. And uh, right after this, it will just continue on to the springboard. And you'll see on the very right on the springboard, we will have... We will have Cydia. And now it's preparing the file system. And this is an iPhone 4S. Like I said, this method also works on the iPad 2 as well. For A4 devices, um, I might not make a tutorial, but you can check out um, I Crack Your Eye device or I crack your device which one of the other two I'll put a link in the description and he has a jailbreak for everything or well at least on the iOS side because normally I do um, PlayStation stuff but once you see Cydia you can actually click out of that because you'll be confirmed into um, knowing that your iPhone is jailbroken but um, if you have if you ever have the cable unplugged during the installation or you get some kind of error on your iPhone. Um, what you want to do is uh, say that every time you click the um, every time you click the um, um, network part where you go to v VPN, um, jailbreak isn't there anymore. But um, whenever you click the on button during that part where it had jailbreak it might just give you an error message and you could go back to the springboard and it won't reboot or anything if that happens something like that then all you need to do is with the iPhone on doesn't matter where it is on the springboard or the operating system but make sure that you close out the window on here of um, absinthe and just run it again and it'll say detected Attempted jailbreak on this device recovery um, imminent or whatever, and then once it says uh, it's completed uh, the recovery, you're going to want to close the program and then start the program again, and then you'll press jailbreak again, um, and uh, it'll redo the process, and because you'll now know what to do um, by following these steps exactly as I do you should get the same outcome that I got which 
would be in the end to get Cydia. And we'll make this developer because you want to have a developer to have the most access to the most applications. And you'll see down here at the bottom iPhone 4S, iOS 5.0.1, Cydia 1.14. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe there, guys. Thank you all. And um, if this video helped you, please um, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, like this video and favorite it. Alright, thanks guys for watching.